guys, it's Rachel. Welcome back to my channel. So I am finally getting around to discussing with you what I have bought so far. I've skipped a couple of months there. If you haven't seen my Get Ready With Me where I discuss where I've been, go ahead and check it out. I'll link it below for you. But I did buy a few things. And I'm going to let you know what I bought because this is the whole purpose here on this channel. I have been doing a no buy, low buy for the past six months. Yeah, I've finished six whole months. And so every two weeks I allow myself to spend $50 of replacement makeup, replacement only because I'm not buying new makeup, and other things that I want to spend my money on that don't include makeup. So let's let's just go ahead and uh, this is going to include, oh yeah, this is going to include May and June. So let, but let's just get started. The first two things that I ended up buying, these came together. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise in Black is Black and the L'Oreal Voluminous Primer. Um, it says white primer base. I actually ended up starting this out with the idea that I was going to film it and test it and vlog it and I started to do that and then I got really sick with my pregnancy and I I quit doing that. <laughs> um, um, so I, I kind of chucked that video. So what I figured out was is that I love the L'Oreal Lash Paradise, but I don't like primer on my particular lashes. I felt like the primer didn't give me the fluffiness that I like out of the, the L'Oreal Voluminous and that it didn't separate, it just clumped it together and it kind of weighed it down. So I used it, I bought it. It was only like four extra dollars, but um, that was a bust. But the, the mascara was not a bust. I love that mascara. So I bought that because I was out of mascara. That was around 12 dollars, $12, I think. I also have mentioned in several videos that I have pregnancy acne at the moment and I had bought the I had bought the Clinique Beyond Perfecting foundation and concealer. I don't even remember what month this was, and I figured out I didn't like the way that it looked all over my face because I have dryish skin and it sucks up anything that's in a foundation and it left me looking flaky and it left me looking I didn't like it. So, I ended up going and searching for another foundation that I thought would do a better job. And having heard that Taylor talk about this foundation, I went and bought it. Now, she had had oily skin and she went on Accutane and now her skin is dry. She loves the CYO Long Lasting Foundation. And I got this in the sh shade 101. You can see I've actually used up quite a bit. I really, really like this foundation. I love the way it looks on my skin. I love the finish. I love the, just, I, I love it. <sighs> However, I just found out literally this week, a few days ago, that they are discontinuing this wonderful foundation. Oh, Oh my gosh, I am so disappointed because I love this stuff. I really want to recommend this, but it's going away apparently. I ordered this off Walgreens. A lot of the shades were sold out. I can't really find it at any of the Walgreens that I have. So I don't understand because if it's sold out everywhere, why would you why would you get rid of it? But that's your choice. So I bought the foundation and I fell in love and then and this was about $13. If you also happened to watch my Stitch Fix unboxing while pregnant video, you'll know that I bought a couple of items. I have decided not to take another box in August, which is when it's due. Um, I did this while pregnant because Stitch Fix had a pregnancy option and nothing I wanted worked for me. I'm not wearing this because it's hot outside. This is July by now. This is a yellow cardigan, but it's long sleeved. And I love this sweater. It is it is like really, really thin and it goes all the way down to like past my waist. And I love the color. 
and I knew that if I when I bought it that it doesn't matter if I'm pregnant or not because it doesn't go around my belly so it's gonna fit me and when it gets cooler or if I'm inside I take it to the movies a lot I take it because I'm always cold in the movies and you know how sometimes you want to take a jacket but you don't want to take something really really thick I take that to the movies with me and traveling and anywhere if I'm going to be inside and I'm going to think I'm going to be cold I'll just fold it up and put it in this purse I bought which I'll explain in just a second so and I love the color it is, it's so bright and cheery and mm, it was expensive <laughs> I think that this was 40 something dollars so I ended up deciding that at the moment I can't afford to keep getting stitch fix for myself um, the pieces that they send you, I, I chose the, the, like the lowest level for, for pieces that they send you and, um, there was nothing under 50 bucks. Some of it was outrageous, but I, I just fell in love with that sweater. So I ended up buying that. I ended up getting this purse, well, this humongous diaper bag of a purse, <laughs> you can see. It is, um, faux leather. And I actually have things in this purse. This is the purse that I use. It, like there's pockets on the side. There's a little wallet in there. You can put things in the here. Pockets, pockets everywhere. I made the decision. I normally don't take a huge purse around with me. I have a, a tendency that if I have a bigger purse, I'm just going to put more junk in there. I've been very, very good lately though. I've not, I've been cleaning it out and I, I don't really actually keep a lot of things in there. So Rachel, why did you buy a humongous purse if you don't actually use it? For those of you not caught up, I am t almost, tomorrow, I will tomorrow, when I'm filming this. When this, by the time this is uploaded, I'll be 27 weeks pregnant. So this is not going to be my son's diaper bag. I actually have a different diaper bag that I know I'm getting. It's more of like a backpack thing. But as a mom, I think every mom needs to have... A bag of like emergency things and even though I'm gonna have a diaper bag this is gonna be for like my emergency things and even when he's out of diapers and we don't longer have that bag I can this is a such good quality that I can keep using it if that makes any sense and this was also expensive it was it was like a $50 purse however this was the only thing that I got out of that Stitch Fix box that I felt was worth the price they were charging. This quality is worth the $50 that it's they're, they're asking you to pay. Actually, I don't even remember if it was $50 or not. I, I don't remember. It was so long ago, bought it in the beginning of May. So I got my money's worth out of this thing and out of the sweater. But I don't, I'm not gonna be doing Stitch Fix We'll see in what November I think is like I I, I canceled my August subscription and they were like okay well it's gonna come again in November I'm gonna be postpartum so we're gonna see I doubt if I'll take it I don't know I, I doubt it all right last thing I told you this is short and sweet because I didn't buy a whole whole lot this is the the two things that I bought that was May so the two things that I bought in June there were only two things and. One of them is not even a product. This is the Elta MD UV Broad Spectrum SPF 50 um, sunscreen. This is active lifestyle, transparent zinc oxide, UVA, UVB protection, water resistant for 80 minutes, full body for all skin types, oil free. It, I ended up getting this off of Zulily. If you don't know what Zulily is, I have to say it really slow because it's got you kind of stumble over it. It's like a flash sale site. It's like a Hot Look, or they put things on there and they and they only keep them on there for a short time, and then it goes away. I've been buying from Zulily for five years now. I have a hair straightener from Zulily. I have shoes. I have I've bought books. I've bought perfume. They always have perfume for a discounted price and they have makeup and you have to kind of be careful because sometimes things on Zulily they'll be it'll say like it'll say the suggested retail price and it'll say their sale price and sometimes it's like they'll have like Mac on there I'm like okay you have a Mac paint pot it's only like three dollars off if I like shipping and handling it's it's no <laughs> 
some things are not that great, but a lot of things are. So this was originally on sale. I think they retailed this for $31 and I ended up getting it for like $19. And I know that <sighs> that sounds like a lot for a sunscreen, but this is the kind of sunscreen that they sell at the dermatologist office. And so where you can get this, it, it, you can, you're going to have a hard time finding this. This is sold at a dermatologist's office on the Elta website and I think Derma Store also sells it. So I was surprised to find this on there. I had originally wanted a different sunscreen because I, uh, if you haven't seen any of my videos, I'm a bit huge. Ba -ba -ba. If you haven't seen any of my videos, I'm a huge fan of Dr. Dr. Dre here on YouTube. She's a dermatologist and she loves Elta and she actually likes this. This is a mineral sunscreen, but this has no cast because it's invisible. So it's transparent. It'll go, it goes on white and then I will rub it on and it will just sink into the skin and it'll disappear, which is perfect. Um, and it's also super moisturizing. If you have oily skin, I don't know if you're gonna be able to wear this under makeup. It takes a while for this to sink into my skin. So I have to give it longer than like the 20 minutes if I care, but I have dry skin so it doesn't matter to me. This is fantastic. I took this on vacation. We went on a road trip and we went to several baseball games. So I was outside for several hours and I didn't burn it all, not one bit. And I am willing to pay extra money for a good sunscreen. Skin cancer runs in my family like water. Everybody has it. So I've never been the person from a young, young age who doesn't have sunscreen on it. If I am outside, if I ever step a foot outside, I've got it on. I've got it on my face. At least I've got it on my face and on this area that is showing right now. And the backs of my hands. Um, I've seen what skin cancer can do to a person and what happens when it goes bad. So I don't play around with that stuff and I make sure I wear it and the, the kind that they sell at the dermatologist's office is really good stuff. So I'll pay for it. And the last thing I did that I, that I ended up getting, um, I went a little over my budget this month but that was okay with my husband and I after talking about it financially because we could afford it, it was fine. What I wanted to do was I spent the money, I got a haircut, and I got my hair highlighted for the summer before we went on vacation. I decided like at the drop of a hat, I was like, I, I, I want to get my hair colored. I want to be blonde for the summer. We have my uh, baby shower coming up this weekend, and I wanted to look nice. <laughs> so I spent the money, and that was it. That was all I bought in, in June because this and my hair. And I was happy with it. Old Rachel never would have spent the money on hair, even though she really, really wanted it. Because old Rachel would have spent that money on an eyeshadow palette. So this whole journey of mine is taking more fruition. So I try at the end of every video to tell you guys about the revelations that I have each month. By the way, I got my nails done too for the baby shower. That'll be part of my June, July, sorry, July update as well. But what am I trying to say? Oh, what I've learned over the past few months is there is a whole big wide world out there of things to experience. And I love makeup so, so much. It is my favorite hobby and it's something that I love to do. I love to watch YouTube videos on it. I still do that. I still watch everybody's videos on things. And I, I do, I, I have tended over the last few months to kind of shy away from channels that it's like new stuff every time they post a video they have something new. They go on hauls every single week. They buy every new eyeshadow palette that you could ever imagine and they review it. I don't follow those kinds of things because that's going to get my 
shopping itch right back to where it was. However, I do follow a lot of the same people that I always have. And I am finding that I can look at makeup, I can see new things come out by now. It's taken almost six months and I can just absorb it, look at it, appreciate it, and let it go. Some things I've, I've almost jumped the gun on, like I've almost really wanted to go in and get that or order it, but I haven't. And I'm so proud of myself. And I'm happy with my progress. I've, I've bought things that make me happy. I've, I've gotten my hair done, I've got my nails done, I've gotten perfumes that I've wanted and more clothes and bags and and I haven't been irresponsible in my spending that's the most important part I have set a limit on myself and I haven't gone over that I have nothing else to tell you that I didn't actually buy a whole lot so I think that that's it guys I think that we're wrapping this up I hope that you guys are having a great summer and that you are enjoying yourself um, if you want to see any more of my no buy low buy videos I will link the playlist down below for you so you can check it out. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe before you leave, and I'll catch you later.